Hello, my besties. How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Kathy, and I do a lot of great projects on a budget. So if you like what you see, please go ahead, hit the little red button, and automatically become my bestie. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful designer looking reef step by step without breaking a bank. How about that? There's so many people that are still bow challenged, but I bet it's because they haven't seen my bestie bow tutorial. It is the easiest bow out there and anybody can do it. Let me just show you step-by-step -step instructions how to make a reef like that, okay? <laughs> Let's get started. All you need is 14 inch reef form, one roll of deco mesh, 10 by 10, and a combination of ribbon. I just got these at Hobby Lobby, they were 50% off, and I'll be using six different ribbons today, but you don't have to get that many. Also, I like to add a cute sign to my reef, and Dollar Tree always has a great selection to choose from. And one last thing, we're gonna need some pipe cleaners. And we are going to attach them to the reef form. First, we are going to tie the two inner rails together and twist tie the pipe cleaner just like so. And then we are going to attach two to the two outer rails, just like so. And as you know, uh, the reef has uh, six sections. So we are going to do this in all six sections, which is going to be a total of 18 pipe cleaners. Feel free to screenshot this just in case you need to refer back to it, okay? Next step is to cut your deco mesh. And I like to use a 10 by 10 cardboard and just cut equal 10 by 20 pieces, just like so. You will get exactly 18 pieces, which is perfect for your 18 pipe cleaners. Next, we are going to make cruffles, my favorite method. You curl up one end of deco mesh, you clip it, turn it around, Curl up the other end, walk your fingers across, pinch it together, and you get a cruffle. Go ahead, attach it to one of the pipe cleaners. And then we are going to repeat these steps all around the reef. Let me show you one more time how easy it is. Curl up one end, clip it, turn it around, curl up the other end, walk your fingers across, pinch it together, and you get this cute little cruffle, which is a combination of curl and ruffle. It's a great technique because deco mesh tends to fray at the ends. And since the ends are curled in there, you don't have to worry about it here. You see, because the edge gets curled in there and then you're gonna curl up the other one, walk your fingers across, pinch, and you're gonna attach that cute little cruffle there. So we got the first section done. You see how easy that was? And now you repeat it all around. And one last one, and look at this, nice full reef, just one roll of deco mesh. Next, you are going to cut your ribbon in 12 inches long pieces. We are going to attach this ribbon all around the outer part of your reef. And as you notice, I cut all of them fishtail, except this uh, ribbon. It's a window pane ribbon, and it makes no sense to cut the fishtails there. You're going to fold each tail in half, just like so. Find the midpoint, pinch it, and make like a V-shape. And you are going to attach it to the outer pipe cleaner. We got 12 of these on the outside. You just twist tie your ribbon, and we are going to alternate the colors. 
again I have like four different ribbons here so now I'm going to do the same with beige pinch it fold it in half like a v-shape and attach it there twist it a couple times and now we are going to do the window pane ribbon and since that ribbon is see-through I'm going to layer it on top of the navy ribbon fold it in half find a midpoint pinch it and make a v-shape you see that way that ribbon is visible beautifully otherwise it would disappear on our deco mesh twist it a couple times and you see this is our color combination we're going to repeat this all around the reef And when you attach all of them, you just fluff them up, curl them up on top of your palm and look how much color and dimension they add, right? <laughs> I love it. And uh, as you notice, uh, this is just the outer part. We have pipe cleaners on the inside too, but since we adding a sign, we don't need to add any ribbons there. Now we're going to work on our bow. And we are going to make my subscriber's favorite, the bestie bow. It's really easy. All you have to do is cut eight pieces of ribbon, 24 inches long. I have them folded in half already. You see, this is like 24 inches folded in half. And all we have to do is measure five inch loop, pinch and hold it with your thumb, just like so. Measure five inches, pinch and hold. And now the next ribbon, five inches, pinch and hold and alternate all your colors. I have four colors here, two of each making eight loop bow. But of course you can make as many loops or as little as you like, you know? So this is six, this is the seventh loop and now final eight pinch it all together and tie it nice and tight with a pipe cleaner or a floral wire, whatever you have on hand. All you have to do now is just sit your bow and fluff, fluff, fluff until it gets beautiful. <laughs> I like to put my hand first through the loops and pull them out and make sure I don't have two of the same ribbons next to each other. And once you do that, then you're gonna fluff up all your tails. And with eight loops, you get 16 tails. <laughs> so you just have to, you know, just fluff them up, separate them. And some ribbon is one-sided. So you need to make sure that the right side is up. With other ribbon, like the navy one, it doesn't really matter. It's same on both sides. And uh, yeah, just, Again, you know, fluff and separate. Make sure you don't have two of the same tails next to each other. Round them up on top of your hand, just like so. And the more you play with it, the more you fluff, the more beautiful bow you're gonna get. And this is it. I am so confident you can do it. Follow these easy steps and achieve big, beautiful bow by hand without any gadget. Even if you've never done a bow before, I am sure you can do this one. So many besties had tried it already and they came back and they said how much they love it, you know, and it will transform anything that you make, whether it's a reef, a bouquet of flowers or a present or a Christmas tree. You can't go wrong with the bestie bow. Look at this. You are going to use the same pipe cleaner that's right there underneath your bow and you are going to attach the bow to the reef now. We are going to attach it over there through the deco mesh all the way down to the reef form. I'm going to attach it to the inner two rails. Remember our form down there? <laughs> A little bit lower to the inner rails and pull it through and tie it underneath.
and now you might have to just fluff up that bow a little bit more and we are going to attach the sign. Depending on the sign, you might want to put it in the middle, a little bit to the left or to the right, have a bow on the side or above it or under it. You know, it's up to you. I like to play around with it and I think the best way here is to put everything in the center. My sign comes with the two holes at the top where the juice shrink used to be. So I'm feeding a floral wire through there and attaching at the top of the sign to the reform. And at the bottom, I'm adding a tie just like that. And then I'm feeding the wire through the deco mesh down to the wire reform and attaching it there. Make sure everything is nice and secure. And you can barely tell there is a floral wire there running through these little holes. And now for the final step, I like to add a couple cherries on the top. So I have some leftover rope from the Dollar Tree, some seashells, starfish. I'm gonna decorate my wreath a little bit more. I don't have much of this rope left. Uh, they had it at my Dollar Tree only one time. So I cut in two equal pieces. This is like 24 inches long. I'm making just a simple bow like this. And I'm going to attach it by the sign about one right here. I'm just gonna utilize the pipe cleaners that are already there. And, you know, just a little bit interest. Uh, it actually, you know, it blends in. It's not that visible, but, you know, I just like the cute little touch of rope. It's a nautical reef. You get it, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna do the second one diagonally across. At this point, I won't need any of my pipe cleaners anymore. I'm going to pull them through the back and wind them up over there in the back. You can also trim them off, whatever you like to do. And finally, let's add some of these seashells. First, we're going, oh, still got a pipe cleaner there. I'm going to just cut it off and attach one starfish right there in the center of that little rope bow. Just add some hot glue, make sure it's nice and secure. I like to use the Gorilla Glue Sticks because they really are stronger and they can uh, withstand the sun, you know, the heat. Okay, and here we're gonna add our second starfish. about a seashell over here underneath. And I think we need one more starfish. Let's add it over here at the top left. And finally, you can attach a hanger in the back of your reef. Just make sure you level it out so the sign hangs straight. And then you can just feed a pipe cleaner through the back of your form and make a loop there. So this is how you can make a designer reef all by yourself. You can apply this technique to any type of reef, any occasion. If you wanted to buy a reef like this on Etsy, you would have to spend over $100. And I think it's great to support other homemakers, but if you cannot afford it, you can definitely make your own. <music>